Hi, I'm Greg with Madison Pro Audio in Madison, Wisconsin. Today I've got a quick look at the QSC Touch Mix 16. The Touch Mix 16 features 16 mic pre's, four of which are combo jacks, so they accept quarter inch or XLR. It also has two additional stereo inputs, giving it a total of 20 channels. For aux sends, we have one through six. Those are XLR output. We also have two stereo aux outputs, one of which I'm using to go directly to the camera for this broadcast. And we're recording directly to a USB drive. So that's pretty cool. And you can arm the individual tracks um, and send whatever track you'd like to it directly to a USB drive, which is awesome. The Touch Mix features eight DCA groups and eight mute groups, and those are assignable basically right here and also uh, via the channel select. One of the cool things about the Touch Mix mixer is the iPad application. The iPad application looks exactly like the touchscreen interface. So for continuity, that's amazing. Another cool thing about the Touch Mix is its ability to broadcast an SSID signal, meaning it has a little network adapter in the back and it broadcasts its own network right from here. And you can name that whatever you want. And then it has a default password in right there. So basically we don't need a router in this scenario. I'm connected to the mixer right now without a router and that is pretty cool. The Touch Mix mixer features user assignable buttons and you can do whatever you want with those. You can place a tap tempo here or you can bring up your graphic, you can assign your graphic EQ for your main outputs right here. So anything that you want to bring up. The Touch Mix has a flex knob. That's what I'm calling it anyway. I don't know what QSC is calling it. So when I select a parameter, I can make adjustments with the knob. So any parameter that's selected on the mixer, I can make adjustments with the knob over here. Now, if I want to make fine adjustments, all I have to do is press and hold, and then I can make fine adjustments with the flex knob. When I select on my channel, you can see my EQ. I have a high pass filter engaged, and I'm taking out a little bit of 500 hertz. I have a compressor engaged. Um, I can put a gate on it if I wanted to. I can send to the four different effects processors here if I wanted to. And there's also a pitch shifter, which is kind of cool. Um, I can send in my aux sends right from this page, and then I can load certain presets. So there is some like vocal presets and things that I can load right here. Um, again, for a novice user or maybe somebody that just is trying to get up and running really quickly at a show. Um, the setup button lets me arm this track and send it to the recording if I'd like, engage phantom power, also add a little digital gain if I need it, and reverse polarity from there. Also want to give you a quick look at the back of the mixer. Now the Touch Mix comes with a proprietary power source. Uh, QSC is saying that this is a power source that is common on other computer equipment and can be bought third party. Comes with a power brick that looks like this. And basically that's a regular IEC that plugs in here and then goes into the wall. So the brick, the power source is separate from the mixer, it seems. QSC has included an awesome case with this. Here's a shot of the inside of the case. And this is a, a hard material, like a hard uh, foam. And it has a spot for the power supply here and a spot for the mixer. And voila, your 16 channel mixer in a tiny little briefcase for the show, which is uh, extraordinary actually. So um, I love the form factor, I love the mixer, I love the sound quality. I think QSC really has a nice product here. And the fact that you can use this mi mixer with the iPad application um, makes it a really good buy. For all your live audio production, lighting, sales, and installation questions, please visit madisonproaudio.com.